So today I'm going to be sharing a practice quiz for the math section on the T's test. I do have a lot of other videos with practice quizzes for the T's test and if you guys are interested in seeing more of those videos, you can check that playlist out right here. So today the questions that I will be giving you are seven questions that are taken from Memetrix University, which is an online study course that Memetrix puts out and it is a great online course, very comprehensive. And if you're interested in learning a little bit more about Lemetrix University, you can check that out in the description box below. I'll put a link there for you guys. So without further ado, let's jump right into the questions. I'm gonna give you guys seven questions. And after going through the seven questions, I will get into the correct answers and why they are correct. So question number one, solve for X. So take a look at this equation The answer options are A, x equals 8, B, x equals negative 4, C, x equals negative 8, or D, x equals 4. All right, so question number two. Dr. Lee saw that 30% of all his patients developed an infection after taking a certain antibiotic. He further noticed that 5% of that 30% required hospitalization to recover from the infection. What percentage of Dr. Lee's patients were hospitalized after taking the antibiotic? A, 1.5%, B, 5%, C, 15%, and D, 30%. If you wanna take a little bit more time with this question, go ahead and pause your video, and then when you're ready, you can move on. Question number three, which of the following describes a graph that represents a proportional relationship? A, the graph has a slope of 2,500 and a y-intercept of 250. B, the graph has a slope of 1,500 and a y-intercept of negative 150. C, the graph has a slope of 2,000 and a y-intercept of zero, of zero. Or D, the graph has a slope of negative 1,800 and a y-intercept of negative 100. Go ahead and pause the video to work on this problem, and when you're ready, you can move on. Question number four. Jeremy put a heavy chalk mark on the tire of his bicycle. His bike tire is 27 inches in diameter. When he rolled the bike, the chalk left marks on the sidewalk. Which expression can be used to best determine the distance in inches the bike rolled from the first mark to the fourth mark? A, three times 27 pi. B, four pi times 27. C, 27 divided by three times pi, or D, 27 divided by four times pi. Go ahead and take a moment to work on this problem and then you can go on to the next question. Question number five, simplify the following expression. 13 over 22 minus three over 11. The answer options are A, 19 over 22, B, seven over 22, C, 10 over 11, or D, five over 11. Go ahead and pause the video to work on this one, and then when you're ready, you can move on to the next question. Question number six. The number of vacuum cleaners sold by a company per month during year one is listed below. 18, 42, 29, 40, 24, 17, 29, 44, 19, 33, 46, and 39. Which of the following is true? A, the mean is less than the median. B, the mode is greater than the median. C, the mode is less than the mean, median, and range. Or D, the mode is equal to the range. Go ahead and take a moment with that question, and when you're ready, we'll move on to our final question. All right, question number seven. The histogram below represents the overall GRE scores for a sample of college students. Which of the following is a true statement? A, the range of GRE scores is approximately 600. B, the average GRE score is 750. C, the median GRE score is approximately 500. Or D, the fewest number of college students had an approximate score of 800. That's it for the questions. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to work on this a little bit more. And when you're ready, we'll go ahead with the answers. 
All right, so for question number one, the answer is B, x equals negative four. And below, you'll see an explanation for why this is correct and how to solve for x. Question number two, the answer is A, 1.5%. You'll see below an explanation for why this is correct and how to solve this problem. Question number three, the answer is C. The graph has a slope of 2,000 and a y-intercept of zero. And below you'll see an explanation for why this answer C is correct. Question number four, the correct answer is A, three times 27 pi. And then below you'll see an explanation again for why this answer is correct. Question number five, the correct answer is B, seven over 22. And then below again, you'll see an explanation for that answer B and why it is correct. Question number six. The correct answer is D. The mode is equal to the range. And then below again, you'll see why this answer is correct. And then finally, question number seven. The correct answer is C. The median GRE score is approximately 500. And then below again, you're going to see an explanation for why this answer is correct. So how did you guys do on that test? Go ahead and drop a comment below letting me know how you did. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel below for more content that's similar to this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.